Falcons itching for their first win since late February, while the Royals have won seven of their last eight. Two run RBI gets the first two runs on the board in the bottom first and in the bottom second. Clayton Beck keeps it going with a grounder to left, bringing home Tanner Holly from third to go up three to nothing. Bottom third we go where Jacob Grant bloops one into left field along the foul line to allow Shane Knighton to come home safely on the RBI single. It's now a four nothing game. Still in the third, runners on the corners win the steal at second is a distraction, allowing time for Bregan Cravey to slide home safely, and it's now 5-0 home team after three. Bottom fourth now, Brody Fleming pops one high and deep to center field for the sacrifice fly, so Austin Yorn can come home for another Royals run. It's a 7-0 game, and they pile on more as Walker Boatwright bloops one to center field to bring home Holly and Cole on the two-run ribby as Bleckley County wins game one, 10 to nothing. Now on to game two, Bleckley up four nothing in the bottom first with bases loaded and they add more as Boatwright hits a slow rolling grounder to left center field and he is safe as well as Jet Fordham to make it five nothing Royals. Still in the first, Clayton Beck swings at the high pitch and it lands deep in left field right on the foul line and that ball is fair to bring home Cole and Josh Dillard on the two run RBI. It's seven nothing Bleckley County at the end of the first. Top second we go, East Lawrence keeps it close when Logan Gibson bloops one to right field along the foul line. That gives time for Ryland Harden to score from second base for the Falcons first run of the game. Then the Falcons grab another run on a wild pitch to make it seven two. But the Royals aren't done. Boatwright hits a grounder up the middle to bring home Dillard on the RBI single for another Royals run. It's an 8-2 ball game in the second. Later in the inning, Cravey absolutely crushes this ball into the Georgia Pines way back, and it is out of here. A two-run shot over the center field wall extends the lead to eight, and the Royals sweep this week's Region 3 game series with a 14-4 dub to remain perfect in region play at 7-0.